Here is the introductory video of React.js. What is React.js? React is an open source and front-end JavaScript library. It is used to build interactive user interfaces. React.js was developed by Facebook in 2013. React.js can be used to develop both web and mobile applications. Applications like WhatsApp and Instagram developed in React.js as well. Facebook site itself has more than 20,000 React components. So the question is why to learn React.js? So we have some examples which motivate us to learn React.js. First of all, there is a large and a strong community behind it. We can develop UIs with excellent performance. Everyone wants to improve the speed of application. So React is helping us to make it happen. Top brands like Netflix, Pinterest, Reddit, and many others are rewriting their front end to React because of its excellent performance towards UI rendering. We can use React.js on both the client side and server side. React.js has component based architecture. Let's understand how we can divide into components. So in this design, we have divided the complete web page into components. We have individual components for header, content, sidebar, and footer. And all these are wrapped into a single component. Here is the live example of a Facebook page where the whole page is divided into components, which I have highlighted into red boxes. Here is the reason of why React.js improves the performance of user interfaces. React components are used to generate a virtual DOM. So firstly, what does virtual DOM mean? It is a lightweight abstraction of the actual HTML DOM. The virtual DOM is able to be generated much more quickly than the HTML DOM because it doesn't have to calculate CSS styles and layouts. When a React component changes state, the virtual DOM is recreated and the difference between the new virtual DOM and the previous virtual DOM is calculated. The React.js library then calculates the most efficient way to update the HTML DOM to reflect these changes. This ends up being much faster than regenerating the entire HTML DOM from the top. What are the prerequisites to start learning React.js? You should know at least the fundamentals of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's summarize what we learned. We talked about what is React.js, why to learn it, also seen how web page divided into components. Finally, virtual DOM usage in React.js. In the next video, we will do installation and setup and create our first Hello World application. So see you in the next video.